Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be trying out Nasus versus Lissandra. Should be quite an interesting matchup. First though, let's go over his star powers. So we have round end, grant your strongest ally 2-2 two, two for each unit you've slain this round. Once you've slain 10 or more units, summon the restored sun disk. You see that right here, this is how you can get your Nasus to get the ascended to rank 3 level. So kind of their ultimate level up form doesn't trigger most of the time but maybe we can get that happening we also get the plus one starting mana and enemies have negative one power just the entire enemy board negative one power this is good not only to reduce down the damage we're taking like to our nexus but also this can help our units try to survive some of those trades so we can get some more kills and get some more scaling now note here this is giving you stats for each unit you've slain not each enemy you've slain. So if you end up killing some of your own units, you're still able to benefit from this. Now the build we're going with is a little bit interesting. We're going for the Disciple of Shadows, so I cost one less for each ally in play, then play deal three to all other allies. So we're trying to get Nasus on the board a little bit early, and if he ends up killing any of his own units, that can also help his scaling from the star powers. We're also going with the Grand General's Counter Plan, so round start, create a fleeting copy of me in hand. That fleeting copy, you see right here, Siphoning Strike, an ally strikes a unit. If it dies, great ally champions everywhere, 2-2. Two, two. Great way to scale up and also have some removal. And then we're going for the Stalker's Blade. When I'm summoned, I strike the weakest enemy. So this is a good way to try to get another strike off. But also, we want Nasus to strike for 10 damage so that when he levels up, he can get that spell shield and then further decrease all enemies' attack by another negative one. So this is a bit of an interesting build. Normally people, myself included, normally go for like an all strike build or build that you're just focusing on the Grand General's counter plan and pairing it with an Archangels. Trying to go kind of in the middle and hopefully have this work out for us. Really wanting to bring a lot of utility to the board. Never actually used this build before, but I'm excited to try it out. Now before we get into it, just want to say a special thank you to everyone that's been going over to the Twitch streams. Been awesome hanging out with you all. I stream every weekday morning. 9 a.m. Eastern. There's a link down below if you want to check that out. It's been great to hang out with you all over there, and we've had some great discussions and had some fun times, especially with the monthly challenges. Triple Rage Blade really is the best build. All right, let's get into it. All right, support champion. Sivir's not too bad. Sivir with Power Rift. Could try to play that a bit earlier. Yeah, I think this looks decent. Also, just Mono Sharima. Always a fun time. Yes, I think let's go here. All right, Elemental Winds, hold them off. Oh, that is difficult. So Elemental Winds, I guess we don't actually really have anything that will benefit from this. I think it was uh, thinking of Volley Bear. So yeah, let's go for the hold them off, a really great defensive power, and it pairs well with our Fearsome, so the enemies won't be able to block. This should be pretty decent for us. All right, gold chest. Let's see what we can get from the shop. Some pretty good things right here. This going off twice doesn't really matter, but getting this for free. Let's buy the item for this. Double attack, interesting. Let's also buy this item. Double attack with one of our overwhelm units. Yeah, that is pretty solid. Let's try to grab that here i kind of want to reroll for more of the siphoning strikes or an item but yeah we can grab this here we won't actually buy more copies of this because our nasus is already going to be creating them so let's go ahead and see where we want to go first let's look lissandra has frost gathers all right up top is the inquisitor middle is it that stares and the bottom is she who wanders with i am inevitable uh, Omen Hawk with Frost Gathers. This could be a pretty deadly combo. They can drag you aside and then hit you with some of their massive units. So I think we'll avoid the bottom for that. Uh, Yeti Yearlings with I'm Inevitable. Or Warden of the Tribes. I think we'll actually go down the middle. We haven't gone down the middle for a while, so let's try that out here. All right, let's get rid of some of these more expensive ones. Holding on to our Sivir to increase our odds of getting Nasus. Come for the man. 
Alright, so... I don't think I really want to block that. Uh, yeah, we can drop our Sivir. You've got a problem, I've got a price. Overwhelm? Seems good. Party of Spell Shield. Yeah, we can go for that challenger. Business as usual. So let's attack like this, kill their unit. And now we're gonna use our siphoning strike. Get another kill. Wonderful. All right, so Nasus won't be able to quite kill that one. I think let's try to drop some blockers and maybe play Nasus next round. That's all. We could go ahead and drop their attack down. Yeah, it looks all right. Now we have a bit of an issue if we want them to play something so that's going to get a strike off. Uh, sure, we can play this here. It'll give us just more cost reduction for Nasus. Of course, so we could attack like this. Yeah, we'll just attack and give them more opportunity to play. Blade, sand, and treasure. Didn't ask for more. There it is. They do that fairly often. They refuse to play before you attack. I'll be careful. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. All right, going pretty well so far. All right, we'll try to let Nasus get a strike off. So we can level up. Life and death intertwined. Life and death inexorably interwoven. Perfect. Do they have a counter? I think they used to. Don't really like that uh, life steal. Definitely don't like that. Alright, we'll just let this one die here. Not great for healing up. Alright, GG. All right, that played out pretty well. Uh, Sundisk, yeah, I don't think we need to fill up our board with that. Uh, Bakai Reaper, though, should be good. More Shirima. Ooh, Sapphire Crystal. Like, a lot of good things here, but I think being able to ramp up even faster, that sounds really good. Kind of want to avoid their Scavenger, because I, I have bad luck with Nab. The enemy always steals my best cards. Uh, here, Heart of the Fluffet. We can potentially kill a bunch of Poros here. But they have Frost Gathers. Let's go for it. All of our cheaper units. That is... Okay. Yeah, they'll be able to scale up from the landmark. Let's open with our Rolling Sands, actually. Yeah, we'd like to get... Some vulnerable units. Watch 
See, situations like this, the decrease in the enemy power, very nice against these swarmier decks. So we're trying to get our Reapers on the board so they can buff up from the lucky finds. Also, all of these just helping buff up our Nasus. Oh, we'll actually go for the tough. We don't want Nasus to kill that one. Uh, let's just go for some more damage. Alright, we can drop this here. Well, little sad. They're going to be able to make a part of the fluff it. We got a very big Nasus, though. It does have a spell shield and it does have elusive, so that is not great. I was hoping that we would be able to potentially kill it with a double strike, but don't know if that will really be the case right now. Yeah, let's just drop another Nasus. We want him to make some more spells next round. Suppose let's get a kill, get another champion on the board. The expanse of eternity stretched out before me. The one good thing about them hitting Nasus is. We didn't damage our Nexus. If only driven by All right, let's drop or go like here, and that's a uh, game. Maybe. Yep, still game. GG. My skill is unrivaled. Uh, I don't think we really need that. Gain some more Bloodthirsty Marauders. Not bad. All right, Scar Mother with once again Frost Gathers. Uh, this actually looks decent. Well, I think we'll get rid of the Sand Spinner. We do want this, but we want it a little bit later. It is nice being able to play our Sivir round one. Man, eight. Eight health. That is rough. Because if we attacked with the quick attack, we'd buff up their attack and they would strike back and kill us. So that is too much health for us to really deal with. A little disappointing. We feast tonight, Bard. Man, even that. So since we have that uh, vulnerable, we know this unit's going to die. Let's just get some more ramp going with a siphoning strike. Not going to help buff up our champions, but we'll get another blocker at least. Forgetting the 
So we're mostly just building out our board here. And yeah, attacking into that isn't really going to be good for us. Granted, that Ember Maiden is very bad for us. We're not really drawing the cards we need. I think let's go ahead and reduce down this one's attack just so that we can get one unit surviving on our board. Alright, so we don't have quick attack. Let's drop this here. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> like, there's so many we want to get rid of. Like, this one's buffing everyone else. This one is overwhelmed, but this one has a ridiculous amount of health. Pride was my end. So we are going to have to actually have both of our units die to kill both of these. Otherwise, I think we're going to lose the game. Granted, probably going to use or lose the game regardless. Yeah, having a little bit of bad luck this time with what we've been drawing. Smell that bark. Beer. All right, that overwhelm, not great. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. And he is going to buff or like, double everyone's damage again. Yep, that's game. All right, let's try that again and uh, see if we have a little bit of better luck. All right, we need to get rid of most of these. We need more early game units. Because right now we're just losing that early game so bad. The winter's claw strikes. All right, so nothing we have could even kill that. The winter's claw. Nothing's lost. So hopefully Sivir can get some good upgrades from the inner sanctum and maybe get some kills going. Uh, Challenger. We need extra damage. But we need to also make sure we can actually grab their units. So hopefully this next one actually gives us some damage. All right, 1-1. One, one. All right, good. They didn't have a combat trick. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Want to use a siphoning strike to kill this, but I think just getting another champion on the board and getting them lower will be worthwhile. You will do as I command. Trying to speed up our ramp as much as possible. All right, let's try to kill that. All right, perfect. We're getting our champions, getting them scaling. Uh, we can drop this for the vulnerable, I think. Look at this place. All right, we have Nasus. He would be able to kill that unit. Yes, I think let's go for it. Uh, we can replace that. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. Flee now or burn. All right, so we're not quite strong enough to be able to kill that with our Sivir. 
which isn't great. Danger pays. I think let's What's drop this here. Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. And then we are going to reduce down their power significantly, so Sivir at least won't die. All right, we got some good damage. Nasus is going to make some siphon strikes. I helped build this empire. The champion will actually get obliterated, which isn't great, but helping us ramp, getting kills, scaling up all of our champions. Oh, I can't wait. I love a taste of the action. Your time is done. Interesting. Life and death inexorably interwoven. Yeah, Nasus is definitely one of those decks where you have to get ahead and stay ahead. It's a living. All measured. All right, they might frostbite us or something like that, but right. we need to try to end the game. Perfect. GG. Well, glad we were able to come away with the win uh, that second time. Uh, Treasury of the Sands, don't really think that's needed. Play kill an enemy follower if you've slain 13 units this game. Kill all enemy followers, then summon a copy of me instead. So this would be a six cost. Extra draw, I feel like that actually might be better. Although this could be really good for like getting rid of their watcher or things like that. I guess we will grab this. Although we really don't have much draw, so I think this is more likely to actually help us. Yeah, we'll grab that there. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll go for the board-wide scaling. Alternate power source could actually be good for us. So even though this is a legendary and would be helpful, I think actually getting essentially Lux's star powers would potentially help us more. Being able to play a spell for free every round, especially those siphoning strikes, would probably be more impactful. So I think we're actually going to go here instead. All right, hit that stairs, and all things grow cold, so they're going to drop some massive units. Uh, double Sanctum, actually fine with. Because that could really help us scale up our Sivir. It's just waiting to be found. All right, so these have augment. Let's get them on the board so they can scale up as well. All right, challenger, good. Tough. Quick attack spell shield. All right, tough. They're going to drop some massive units. We need all the help we can get. Overwhelm, good. I don't know if it's going to be enough for our... Our unit. All right, finally some damage. Uh, let's... Drop this here for the Rolling Sands. Deal three damage to all other units. Well. That's nice of them. Uh, I want to be able to play this. Let's drop the Marauder, see if they drop something a little bit smaller. Okay. Well, I guess we're not attacking. Ah, uh, and there was one that we would have been able to kill. 
that's disappointing. We were really hoping we could drag this one aside and then kill one with our sivers so they could start scaling up. Oh. I knew it'd be difficult to scale up without kills for the first two rounds, but thought we'd maybe be all right. All right, let's get rid of their overwhelm. Really use that draw card that we added. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we can try to kill their stale moth, but. <laughs> uh, that's. solid. Alright, so the one unit we just gave vulnerable to. They replaced, so we don't actually have a target to kill and scale up. Well, this is probably going to be the end. Well, that's game. GG. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I was actually really enjoying that uh, Nasus build, but didn't really draw the cards we needed. And both the times that we lost, or at least that last time, we didn't draw our Nasus at all. So pretty disappointing there. Hope you guys enjoyed it, though. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. Hope you all have a great day.